What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the best settings to get the most out of your GoPro. Let's go. One, three, five, go! Coming from the wild, wild west indies. Welcome to the video guys. If you're new here, my name is Jake Kelsick and my channel is all about kiteboarding and filmmaking. And today we're going to talk about my personal go-to settings for run and gun adventure vlog style GoPro shooting. These aren't the most high end, this is not going to be the most technical spec review video, but these are going to be my go to settings that's going to make it easy and fun for you to get out there and get awesome shots with your GoPro. So let's jump into the video. Okay, guys, so before we actually jump into the specs and the settings of what I use when I'm out shooting, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the two main cameras I use when I'm shooting. The first camera, surprisingly, is the GoPro Hero 5 session and this is my workhorse i actually use this way more than i use the other camera i'm going to talk about just because it's really easy for pov shooting and the way i have it set up i can take it pretty much everywhere with me and always have a camera on me and it allows me to get awesome pov style shots awesome talking to the camera shots as well as the ability to pop it out and get some cool follow cam shots so yeah main camera i use is the gopro hero 5 session and then I also have a GoPro Hero 6, but I actually don't use this uh, nearly as much as the GoPro Hero 5 session. This is kind of my second vlogging setup, besides the big camera that I'm using here to shoot. Uh, I actually made a whole video about the best GoPro vlogging setup, which you can check out right above here, which uses this, uses a cage, uses a few other bits and pieces to build this into a very powerful vlogging setup. So that's what I mainly use it for or every now and again not so much though but every now and again i do use it for in the water follow cam shots like off of pole as well so yeah those are the two cameras i mainly use so it goes to show you don't really need that much to produce some pretty awesome content uh so yeah now let's jump into the settings okay guys so settings what settings do i use for shooting i mainly use two settings on both cameras for the GoPro Hero 5 session, I use 1440p at 60 frames a second for like probably 80% of my shots. Uh, anything on the body like POV or mounted somewhere close to the body, I use 1440p because it gives me a bit of a taller frame, which allows me a, lit of, uh, a little bit of uh, room to move the 1080p frame when I kind of crop in and export it to a video like you're watching here. So 1440p is my go-to setting for everything POV. And then if I'm not shooting for, if I'm not shooting, <laughs> and then if I'm not shooting 1440p, I then shoot 1080p at 90 frames a second, which is pretty close to 1080p at 120 frames a second. So it gives you really good, uh, well, decent slow-mo for like follow cam stuff. And also for the 1080p, it's just nicer to be a little bit more cropped in. That way when I'm like filming someone, I can actually get closer without actually being closer, if that makes sense. So yeah, to do a little recap on that camera, uh, main settings are 1440p at 60 frames, 1080p at 90 frames a second. So if you use either one of those, you're going to be able to just click, shoot and get amazing footage. And I have to deal with a lot of headache when you get to editing. You're not going to bog down your computer because, yes, this can shoot 2.7K and even 4K, but I never shoot those settings because I shoot so much footage and I edit so much video that I just don't want to create extra file size and extra work for my computer. So 1080p, 1440p, it's plenty to get out there and get banger shots. All right, guys, and then for the GoPro Hero 6, uh, basically the same settings like again I don't really use this that much for POV stuff but um, if I do use it for that stuff it will definitely still be the 1440p settings at 60 wide um, just because that again gives me a taller frame allows me to have a little bit of frame to work with when I am exporting in a 1080p video and then for 1080p, I actually bump it up to 120 frames a second, so that is like the dream setting for slow-mo. Yes, you can go up to 240 frames a second, but you get a different codec, and I don't really like 
how the footage looks that much so I don't really use it that much 120 frames a second it's plenty for buttery smooth sick slow-mo so yeah just to do a little recap on the GoPro Hero 6 main settings are 1440p 60 frames and 1080p at 120 frames a second so that's kind of my go-to settings for video uh, pretty much every time I grab a camera it's on one of those two settings now let's jump into a little bit about photo settings not that much to talk about here because I only really use one mode on both cameras and that is the time-lapse mode I set it to half a second uh, time-lapse speed and that allows me to basically kind of get ready for a shot start the camera so it's snapping a photo every half a second and then allows me to get kind of close to my subject or get myself set up to then boom hold the shot for like half a second and pretty much nail the exact moment that I want to get every time so that is the most versatile photo setting for both the GoPro Hero 5 session and the GoPro Hero 6 yes they both have uh, well the GoPro Hero 6 has a burst mode which again is super useful if you are shooting something like where you're standing and shooting it so you have a bit more time to be ready for the shot and my go-to setting for burst mode on this GoPro Hero 6 is 30 frames every three seconds so that shoots 10 frames in the span of uh, 30 seconds which is kind of confusing so yeah basically you get 10 shots every second for three seconds so that's a super sick mode for if you want to get everything in a shot it would be nice if you could kind of have it shoot that for 10 seconds so then you'd guarantee get like every single frame of every moment so yeah to do a little recap doing a lot of talking here so maybe it's confusing hopefully it's not um, but yeah to recap on the photo settings main setting is time lapse every half a second for both cameras allows you to kind of start it see the moment get the moment or if you're shooting on the GoPro Hero 6 you can use burst mode every 30 seconds uh, every it's so confusing you can use burst mode every for 10 shots every second so 3 30 shots every 3 seconds um, so yeah that kind of sums things up uh, hopefully these settings help you guys kind of understand the power and show you guys the potential of using those settings because yes both cameras can shoot higher resolution and they have a bunch of different settings that you can also mess with but this is kind of geared to someone who's not obsessed with settings and kind of wants the best go-to settings to be able to get out there and get awesome shots which are exactly what I talked about today so you guys hopefully uh, these settings help you out if they did I'd love to see some comments down in the description below let me know if you use these settings already let me know if you think they're gonna help you get out there and get some better shots and that's pretty much it guys uh, I guess I'll see you guys soon in another video thanks for watching peace love and big ups listen you ain't gotta be a jeweler gotta have a good eye like a shooter don't be out here talking but don't do nothing no cover